Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jacob back again with some more GTA 6 news and leaks and stuff. Like we all know yesterday, the world was absolutely shook from the news and the leaks and all this new GTA 6 stuff that came out by one by some random guy, hacker, that decided to leak it. Rockstar also has officially made a statement and here is their statement. We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third, par third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, <laughs> well, live game services, nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work in the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned and will remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you our players that truly exceeds our ex your expectations sorry we will update you once again of course we'll properly introduce you to this game when it is ready we want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation i didn't feel like it needed its own video because it was just those two paragraphs but Rockstar finally said something about the issue, and uh, they still seem to be very well committed. They seem to also not push the project or delay the project any further, which is also really good news. But now let's get on to the juicy GTA 6 stuff. I'm going to keep it on screen for around 30 seconds, but I'm going to read through it. So if you want to pause, take a screenshot, or just uh, read along a little bit with me, do whatever you need to do. But uh, there are two main characters, male and female, which we obviously know, Jason and Lucia. The game will revolve around robberies and heists. Both characters can be seen robbing a store, possibly co-op single player. I doubt it, but Jason in that footage of the diner, the holdup diner, did look like he was actually doing his part in robbing some of the customers. So maybe they're going to be smarter. Maybe it's going to be like more Red Dead kind of robberies where you can rob each individual customer and go to a lot of different places. And, you know, in, I, I, I don't know. It's going to be fucking awesome. That's all I know. Game will have stealth mechanics, which is awesome. Uh, we, GTA, that's one thing that's really missing from the gameplay loop with suppressors and, the, you know, not being able to really crouch. I think it'd be a really cool addition to the Grand Theft Auto series. You can carry a limited amount of guns. This was one I was kind of disappointed at seeing at first, but I know Rockstar can make it work. Like in Red Dead, you can only carry like two long-armed weapons and then two revolvers or handguns. Um, but you, you know, then again, you can call your horse and you can quickly switch your arsenal, but I don't know how you're going to be able to switch your arsenal in this new Grand Theft Auto 6 game, whether or not you can carry extra weapons in a car, personal vehicle, and you can quickly call it to your location. I think that's probably how it would, would work, uh, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I personally always like the pull out a rocket launcher from your pants and you pull out a grenade launcher from your pocket sort of thing that GTA 5 has always had. I don't know, that's just me, but that's just kind of how GTA has always uh, been to me. Maybe it'll only be for single player, maybe not. It won't be for GTA 6 Online whenever that or will come out or whatever that will be even you can drop a gun and pick up a new one which is pretty cool there's gameplay of an m16 on the ground that you can walk over and pick up i remember seeing some of those clips you can rob stores and containers at the docks may contain vehicles weapons cash etc that is pretty cool um game still uses the euphoria ragdoll physics engine you can shoot while swimming you can carry bodies like i mentioned in yesterday's video you can visit the Vice City Metro to get around the city, probably most likely for fast travel. The train system has been in other games like GTA 4, so that's pretty cool. Clothes have physics. Um, I wouldn't really amount G Rockstar to anything less, honestly, at this point. You can move while being prone, which is another thing you can do. You can also be prone, which is, I think, just going to be awesome. You can shoot and move while crouching, also awesome crouching and being able to be prone that's one thing that we've been missing from the grand theft auto series forever uh police is much smarter during gunfights now some of the alpha game footage did show some of the cops like i said valuing their life seeking cover more than normal but you know, <laughs> you know that could just be alpha game footage it could be a little bit different in game it's not like they're gonna be brilliant scientists walking around making bombs and toss them at you or whatever they're still gonna be dumb but compared to the past gta the cops will probably be a little bit more valued of their life 
You'll have more drive-by options. You can sit and shoot from the passenger window or a cargo bed, which is really cool. Shoot from the uh, bed of a truck would be really cool. Uh, wall cover mechanics similar to GTA 5, which is nice. The system works. You can jump to cover, similar animation to Red Dead 2. I personally can't think of the animation off the top of my head, but that I believe is pretty cool. Cars are highly interactive. You can adjust armrests, open glove box, adjust seat position, rear view mirror, etc. How this affects gameplay and benefits players is still unclear. Maybe they'll be used for inventory or storage. Like I mentioned before, you'll only be carrying a limited amount of guns, so maybe having an extra handgun or small arms fire type weapon in the glove box or long armed weapons in the trunk. Maybe that's how it works, which is really cool. Being able to interact with vehicles is just, oh, it's gonna be so much fun and so much more immersive and more robbery options and behaviors npcs will drop to their knees and you can restrain them that is all for now and that is a lot for now let me know what you guys are most excited for personally for me i think it's the highly interactive cars being prone stealth mechanics some of the new robbery options uh, you know, restraining people, carrying the bodies is going to be a lot of fun. Um, single player wise, I think this game is going to be perfect. This game is going to be fun. But I am super, super excited to hop into some online with some friends, mess around, like having that sort of Red Dead sandbox elements of carrying around the bodies and lassoing people. I hope there's some sort of lasso element to GTA 6 where you can tie people up and carry them around, maybe with some zip ties or something like that. I think that's going to be so much fun. If I going prone and having stealth mechanics oh gta 6 is yet still so far away but just getting this little taste right now is more than refreshing enough for me personally i do feel bad for the game devs they wanted to present this game to us in a special special way but the little amount of communication was kind of frustrating though we knew that they were working on it they did say that it was still frustrating to hear nothing like ever not one year updates or what's going on and the best part is about the gameplay that we saw from yesterday's leaks is that that is from alpha pre pre alpha 2019 footage it is now 2022 so how much farther along they are in this project is mind-blowing and how good the game looked from uh 2019 is also mind-blowing that game could could be a release game maybe ubisoft could drop a game like that you know <laughs> kind of ugly unfinished some good elements but not enough you know that's the ubisoft way but anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and uh yeah i hope we can receive a trailer by the end of this year i really think we can seeing how far they all seeing how far they were along in 2019 is very very satisfying and um, refreshing to see but uh anyway see you guys next one peace